And then we also this week um, received um, Lane um, magazine from Finland. Um, Finland, Finland, and it's issue Finland. two, and this is the spring summer 2017 issue. And I have I have I've hardly had a chance to look at it myself, but um, my uh, current uh, sock addiction is uh, Jessica Gore of the Sweater Collective, and she has she has a, a sock pattern in here, and there's just some beautiful articles. Um, Andrea Mowry has an article in here. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a really, really pretty magazine. There's some beautiful patterns. Um, there's a recipe in here f that looks really good. Um, What's the recipe for? I'm looking it up because I don't want to say it wrong. I don't know where it's at now. I'm looking. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There's a lot of knitted good garments in there I see. I don't see any food yet though. Here we go, I found uh -oh. it. So um, it's the Nordic summer days section. Um, there's a recipe for a rosemary Collins. A what? Rosemary Collins, so you make rosemary simple syrup. Oh, it's a drink? Mm-hmm, yep, yep. And then there's a salmon salad with quick pickled onions. It looks delicious with the soft boiled egg on it. Hmm looks very very good and I don't know if those are I assume that they look like lentils yep there's lentils on there and salmon and asparagus and pink radishes looks delicious there's also a recipe for Nordic pancakes and a cardamom strawberry jam so what makes a Nordic pancake versus just a normal pancake I think it's like a like a, a fish like in a it? crepe so they're they're thin they're, it's like a Swedish pancake What's a Swedish pancake versus a normal pancake? Have you never been to IHOP? I don't know. No, actually, no. I've never been to IHOP. Why would I ever go to IHOP? Perkins. I've been to Perkins oh, several times. They don't have Swedish about pancakes About a million there. times. They have pancakes oh. and blueberry muffins. IHOP has Swedish pancakes, I So believe. what is a Swedish pancake? It's like a, like a crepe. So it's thin. It's a thin pancake. It's not oh. like a fluffy pancake. It's, it's thin. And then horrible. a lot of times it's like folded over. So it's kind of like a crepe. I would eat a crepe, but I wouldn't. I well, I hope so because that might be on the menu for breakfast tomorrow morning with I salmon ordered, and dill. And but if if you said you were going to make pancakes for breakfast, and I woke up and I said I can't wait to eat pancakes, and I got a cup of coffee and said, "Man, this is going to be the best morning ever," and you come out with a flat little crepe, I'm like this is not a pancake. That's not. No, I'm going back to bed. This is terrible. What if I said it was a Swedish pancake? Well, now that I know what it is, okay. I would say no, thank you. I would. I want a crepe, or I want a pancake. No, you get what you get. I will. You eat whatever I put in front of you. I will make. You sound my all own. tough right now, but you would eat whatever I put in front of you. No, we'll see. There isn't any. Uh, well, it says that you add a small knob of butter between every other pancake. I mean, every other. What, well, what yeah. Every? Um, you d to fry the pancakes preferably use a low rimmed cast iron frying pan for easier flipping and to achieve crispy lacy edges. Heat the frying pan, blah blah blah. Add a small nub of butter, ladle over, and ladle, and a ladle of the batter. We're looking for a thin pancake, about one millimeter. What? That's a sheet of paper. Four. One millimeter? Yes. No. One millimeter. That's as soon as the pan batter hits the pan, pick up the pan and swirl it so the batter completely covers the bottom of the pan. Where are you going? I'm going to get a tape measure. Would you like a ruler? I have a ruler right here. No, I've got I've got a, an actual manly man, Stanley. No, to measure not. your millimeter. I want to uh, see how long a millimeter there? is, because I don't I don't think you can make a pancake a millimeter thick. That's a millimeter. That's a crepe. Crepes are even thicker than that, aren't they? Oh, there's a crepe place on Instagram that makes me want to go to. Uh, I can't remember where they're at now. Okay, I've got I've got my tape measure. A millimeter. That's that's like mm -hmm. two sheets of paper. That's yep. impossible. No, it's not. Okay, you make them tomorrow, and I am going to measure them with my. Well, I can't because you have to use all-purpose flour, and I. Mm, the the oh the crepe place that I saw on Instagram they're they're gluten free crepes Th this is not gluten free 
I'm pretty sure I cannot achieve the same result with. Well, you know what? I have uh, dill salmon something. That sounds pretty good to me. Well, yeah, it's Michelle Tam. Of course, it's going to be delicious. Oh, well, there you go. I have Sunday breakfast. I have it set for Nom Nom Paleo. Oh, really? Friday nights, I have it set for Nom Nom Paleo because nice. I know breakfast is never going to be disappointing with her. So, no, we have dill coconut flour crepes with smoked salmon and goat cheese. Mm. But we're not having it with goat cheese. We're having it with cream cheese. Okay. Either way, it sounds good. Oh, no, this is actually a real plans one. It's not a nom nom paleo. But I'm still pretty sure it's going to be good. Because she knows what she's doing, too. So She knows how to cook food So, we will delicious. see how thick those are. Okay, you can you get you can get your uh, measure. You can get your measuring tape out and measure it. Is definitely one millimeter is definitely not a pancake in my. But my definition of pancake. One millimeter well, is it's way a too pan thin, and it, it, it's a cake that's made in a pan. But is it a cake? If it's a millimeter thick, that doesn't sound like a cake. That sounds like a. I don't crepe. know what would you a crepe. A crepe. A crepe. <laughs> a crepe Suzette, right? Not a crepe Suzette. Depends on where you're from. I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> so it's a crepe. Ooh. Apparently, this section is about where to stay and shop and eat if you go to Helsinki. We should definitely do that. Keep that one because we're going to go to Helsinki someday. I think we should go everywhere that is in here. Yeah. There's some really... Yeah, it's a good magazine. It's beautiful. She actually... um The... The um, creator of Lane Magazine <laughs> is. Um, are you okay? No. <coughs> are you serious? No, I'm fine. Okay. Oh. Thank you for your concern, but I'm okay now. I, I just wanted to make sure that you I were tried actually... to breathe my beer, and it, and it didn't work out so well. But now I'm I'm fine now, much better. Thank you. So the creator of Lane Magazine, Jana, I can't remember what her last name is now. Um, her, or she's, her name is probably up here in the front with, oh, I don't know. Oh, um, no, that's Jana. Oh my gosh. Itala, Hitala, H-I-E-T-A-L-A. Um, she is, um, she actually did the photos for, um, Hokey's new sweater, Lin Hu, Lan Ho, Lin Hu. I don't know how you say it. I don't know either. It's that. Portuguese for linen is what she, yeah. so yeah. So there was some sort, there was a retreat and Hohe and Jana were both there. And so Jana did the pictures for Hohe's pattern. Cool. So yeah, we were just talking the other day that Hohe's life is pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. Yeah, it sounds like pretty, it. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fair, fairy tale-y for the knitting world. And she sure. goes, she's well. always traveling. Yeah. It's just amazing. And it's a great experience, I think, for her kids. And, yeah, just very cool. Yeah. So, but yes, Lane Magazine. 